people how to draw a near traditional gypsy girl. So this is going to be done on the iPad Pro in Procreate. And like usual, four layers, so sketching, line work, shading, colour. Start off with sketching. Sketching tool, technical pencil, dark red. So we're going to start off, like I normally do the faces, we're going to do this box. Square shape, divide it into four. Now this is a bit similar to the old school one, just with a few sort of differences. We're just basically refining certain details and making them a bit better. So when we get the forehead, we're going to bring this in. When we come here, we're going to come like just a tiny bit over that line. Bring it a bit sharper this time. <coughs> and then we're going to bring this line out with a bit of a curve. Coming out here. A bit further out the nose than the old school version. And you want to get this nice curve here into this dip. So on that kind of shape, that nice curve. I'm going to bring this line back here and go around like so. So it comes inside that box about that kind of length. And once you've done that, you're going to bring this little line just following that nose shape, curve around into the nostril. It's got this little line just down there. There's going to be a few more there, but that's just basically building up the basic shape to begin with. I'm going to have this line come outside the, lip, outside the box a little bit. I'm going to curve back like so. And I'm going to make this look a bit bigger than I would, you know, the um, old school version. So it's a bit more fuller. And you've got this bottom lip. I'm just going to curve around like so. And curve back up. So you can see it's just a bit more kind of structured than the old school. I'm going to curve this line around like so. Curve down. I'm probably not going to go quite to the bottom of this box with this one. But you can tell, I was just sketching, just kind of look at this sort of position. And if this space is roughly about the same as what, you know, the sort of nose is and you're okay. If it's going too much past that, you might end up having a bit of a big chin. I'm going to curve this back. Coming up. Into that halfway line. Like so. I'm going to a bit straight, a bit sharper. Now the Oscar one's a bit more kind of rounded. This is a bit more shaped. Let's bring up like that. So you can see it's just a much more refined facial shape we've just done. Now the eye, similar to the old school way, we're going to bring this curve line back. We come back a little bit further than we did with the old school one. From that point in there, just in the dip, bring it back like so. So you're basically coming from those two points. One there, one there. And we're going to bring a curve line coming back from here Curving as if he was going to curve down to that nostril, like so. And as you imagine drawing a line up from the nose, going around here, so a short distance here. And when we curve up here, we know this is roughly where we want the eye to sit, and this kind of line just here. So you could probably bring up a line from the nostril there, and you get a rough kind of hint of where we want it. So I'm going to bring a line on through the middle of this now. You know, it's depending on how much of the eye you want to show. In my near traditional ones, I don't often have too much of the eye showing. It's more like the eyelid and stuff that I have. So I'm going to bring this line nice and thick and bold. I'm going to curve off like a nice flick for a nice eyelash. If it's similar to the bottom one now, so a nice thick, strong line. I'm going to curve off a nice flick for the eyelash. A little curved line now just for the pupil. Gonna bring this line up here, and when we've done that line here, I'm going to bring this back, so that's going to be like the uh, overlap for the eye. That corner of it, going to kind of bring up diagonally, and this is where we're going to start our eyebrow. So I'm going to bring this back, like so. I'm just going to bring diagonal lines coming through this. There we have our eye. And then from here, coming from this box shape, so I'm going to curve down this line. I'm going to curve this in as if we was making this kind of circle towards that nostril shape just there. And that's going to be where we're going to have the cheekbone. It's going to kind of fit here. And what we're going to do now is kind of build a shape we're going to do the shadow in. So we're going to come back off the eye, curve down. You're going to curve around that cheekbone shape like so. Curving around a little bit and then just follow this line down 
towards the chin. See that is that's kind of where you're going to sort of shade in. We're going to do a little circle bit around this chin area just here, like so, and a little bit just around the corner of that mouth, just to kind of hint, you know, where we're going to do our shadows. You know, if you're drawing it, you can also have those little line details in there. You know, sometimes it looks nice on the neo thread to have those kind of lines. Drawing down from the mouth here, curving down, is roughly where we're going to have the neck. So once you've got that line down there, just curve a little bit from it into it. So we have that sort of structure to it. Now we've got that, I'm going to put in basically the, uh, the gypsy bandana first, the kind of position that I want it. So we're going to curve across this way, coming down. When we get to the center bit here, I'm going to have something here. I haven't decided yet, some sort of jewel or flower. Something's going to sit in this position. And then coming down from this, I'm going to curve this down. I'm going to bring this back, like so, bring the line, curve back up. Repeat this a few times so you get like a few folds in the bottom part of the bandana. And then I'm going to divide this into sections. Now this is, you can do this as many times as you want. You know, and each kind of one I'm going to duck different pants. I'm going to have one bit here. Two bit, not too many I don't think. And this third one I'm going to have curve around. Like so. I might bring those lines up just a tiny bit more. So I'm bring that circular. Now, so I'm going to have some sort of pattern work in this. I might have some kind of sort of leafy bits coming off of here. I'm going to bring in these oval shapes. Just being getting smaller to come down here, like little sort of like jangling coins. Uh, jangling coins? Hanging coins. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some hair in. So I'm going to do this curved line just here. So we're going to have some hair in this bit. I'm going to have this other bit is going to curve out like so. I think I'm going to have this curve around, so it's going to have like some nice kind of curly hair. And I'm going to keep just repeating that sort of shape, curving that around to build up there. A little curve just on the outside. A little flick just coming off there. Now the cheek bit, I'm going to have some here, so I'm going to bring this curve like so. And I'm just going to keep whipping it around, just very sharp turns, until I kind of feel like I've got enough length to it. And I'm going to come back and just slowly widen the shape of that curl. Like so. Yeah, I like that. And then from the bottom bit here, I might have another bit here, so I'm going to bring this curve out just like so. So you basically just bring in some nice kind of bendy shapes. Just keep like curving back and then curving back around. And once we've done that, we've built up the structure. I'll show you how to build up the structure a bit more as we get to those areas. So now you've done this, you can kind of see if you want to lengthen any bit. So I'm looking down here and I think, you know, I might make this band down a little bit longer. So I'm going to add some extra bits down the bottom, just there. Like so. I'm going to have a little bit of a sunburst. Just off the face bit there, I think. And maybe a few little leaves just coming off around her, like so. So this is the basic kind of structure to it. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to refine a few little details, so this inside bit here, yeah, I was going to do a nice circle, and I'm going to repeat this semicircle shape around the outside like that. So a few little like, leafy kind of feather bits just popping off around that part. I'm going to have like a, uh, a flower pattern, I think, inside here. So I'm just sketching in roughly where I'm going to want my flowers to roughly sit. You know, it's all about just kind of building up the shape to it at the minute. I'm going to have an oval pattern. Filling in this gap. Very traditional neo trad sort of pattern. I think maybe some pattern in that section just there. So now I've got that, I'm just going to size that so it's nice and big on the paper. There we go, so now we've done that, I'm going to go into the line work. And I'm basically going to refine, go over all the line work we can see that we've done. And the extra little bit of details we'll do afterwards. So I'm going to go black, inking studio pen to begin with. I will be using the, um, the technical pen as well. Where is it? Yeah, technical pen, but we'll be doing that afterwards. So to start with... Yeah, that'd do. So now I'm going to go pretty much over everything we've just done. Yeah, 
you know, quite like that, I might have to put a mole on her face. Mm, yeah, I like that. Or should I go a bit more straight? So I just don't know if I'm on the nose. Yeah, I go straight actually. Sometimes I like to put a little kind of like kink in the nose. Sometimes I feel like it adds a bit of character to it. Now not all the lines are going to be the same thickness. So I'm going to do all the ones that are kind of going to be in this thickness. And then we'll come back in do the ones that are going to be in another sort of one. So just a bit in semicircles around that area. So we're going to do these oval coins just here. Now one hand if you can procreate, if you sort of draw this sort of shape to it, hold it a sec, it just kind of corrects it for you. You know, you've done the paper, just take your time, get it as uh, accurate as you can. This just helps speed things up, you know. So it's bringing that basic shape around that hair strand we just done there. Bringing in this bandana shape that we drew. I'm going to go nice and straight for that back bit, what I want a bit. No, I'm not going to have a perfect circle. Sometimes it looks nice when it's like perfectly smooth. I think that just makes it look a bit too like a helmet, which we don't want. So we can those hairlines. Of it's just that. Right, so now we've got this done, I think I'm going to switch to the technical pen now. Because the technical pen's basically got like a nice kind of feather to the edge, so when you flick, it's got like a nice shape, which I want for like the eyes and stuff. Because obviously, I'm doing like these nice eyelashes, that's way too thick. That's better. So I want to get a nice flick to the eyelashes. I want that sort of coming to a point. I don't want that harsh, bold edge, which we've been using for the old school. Which is perfect for the old school, it's just not for Neo Trad, in my opinion. Building those lines just there. I might do a little line just curving just here. I might put a little bit of shade. Like so. Just looking at that bottom part of the mouth there. Just flicks the end of a bit of the hair just there. These little loose hair strands we've just got on the outside part. on the bottom just there. And I'm just going to shrink this down a touch now and a bit thinner. Just going to come in for some fine detail parts. So this inside able pattern here. Just do able so they kind of fit in the space.
So now we go like there. I'm going to do like um, some line details in the hair. I'm just going to start off with this one, which is a bit more of a bolder line. I'm just going with some little thinner lines, just making some interesting shapes. That's what I'm kind of looking to do here. I'm not too worried about if it makes sense, you know, it's just about making like a nice kind of pattern with the hair. So just kind of let your movement kind of control what you do, like, you know, just kind of flow with your hand motion. Yeah, quite like that. I'm going to have like a thick line in there every now and again. Just to kind of sort of change it up a touch. But I'm not going to have any kind of repeat and pattern for it, you know, like... If I was in an old school, I'd probably have like, you know, one thin line, one thick line. You know, and kind of follow that pattern through. I'm not going to be doing that for this. So I've got this line. I'm basically just going to keep bending it in and out of this shape. So I'm basically like dividing the shape up now into little sections. Which makes it more interesting. Same here. So I'm going to bring this back here. Okay, but I'm going to cut back into the shape. So you see how I'm sort of like kind of dividing the shape up now. You don't like that line. So I said, just kind of going with your hand motion, just kind of letting, letting your hand flow, just kind of control the direction. I think I'll do for that a bit. It's going to fill a line detail just here, above these lines. this a bit. Just want to create that jaw. There you go. Nice flick to the jaw. That line for the cheekbone in there. Those lines inside the eyebrow. Now I'm going to create another layer just above. I'm going to turn this transparency down quite a bit. Um, I'm basically going to do those facial lines we've done now here so just so when we're done you can kind of see where they were so we can keep the structure right Right, now when I do this pattern on the back of the head, just up here, I think I'm going to do those flowers in a set colour, so I'm not going to do them in black. So now I'm going to turn off the sketching layer. So here we go. We've got our outline now. So now we can start building up our colours and stuff. So I'm going to start off with the shading. Now make sure your line works set to reference. Click selection tool at the top, automatic. I'm going to start with now the same bits I'm going to do in black. So I'm going to get my spray paint tool. And do a bit of black around this bottom. A bit of black around that top. Actually, I'm going to have, black, I'm going to have red in that bit there. So I'm going to talk to myself a little bit when I do this because I'm sort of like deciding on the spot. A little bit of black just kind of around the edge. Just underneath that part, just there. Again, just underneath that jewel piece. 
I might do just a bit up here just to kind of tell the shape. Oops. Select one at a time. And then the hair, I want the hair black, so I'm going to select a couple of hair segments to begin with. I'm going to show this very similar to how I do the old school, so I'm going to bring in quite heavy black, leave like a nice kind of shadow halfway through it. You could do other hair colours, you know, I just love doing black hair on my tattoos. Especially with like um old school neo trade, I just I don't know, black hair just looks amazing on them. Other hair colours do too, but it's just my favourites. Shading the arrow just there. Just gonna slow this part of hair down here now. Now when it all goes blue, it basically means that I've accidentally clicked on one of the lines. Because um, you click on a line, it basically just select the whole thing. So if you do that on here, you can just double tap with two fingers and it go back a step. Or if you do it on another one, just like undo. So just working in black and then just every now and again just leaving like a little line through the center part of your shading to make it like a nice highlight. Now I generally always do it when there's a bend, so when there's a bend somewhere, that's usually where I'll do it. Now I'm going to go freehand tool for this one. I'm going to select this area just underneath the eye, ignore this bit that's kind of got a bit high up there. Didn't mean to select that high up. So I want this quite dark, so kind of black coming around this part and part here. Coming up to this eyebrow in the corner bit. And bring this back. I don't want it a solid black, I want like a little highlight through the center part of it. But I generally want most of that part blacked out. Just to raise that a little bit there, we didn't want. And quickly, oop, quit the door, mate. I'm just going to quickly shade in the eyebrow. So, as soon as the hair, kind of a bit from both ways. I'm going to go freehand again. I'm going to get this bit here just above the eye now. A bit different, we're going to go from the front bit here, quite heavy. Come from the back, but you want this highlight going vertical, like so. I'm just going to select this area just here, because lastly I want a little bit of black just coming in from that gap. And just literally just that tiny bit just underneath the eye. There we go. So you just got like some nice dark heavy makeup on there. And make it a bit mysterious. And now where we've got this line here under the nose, we're gonna select here and gonna select it down to that line we've done underneath the nose. But some of the other bits we now want black across this section. I'm just gonna whip in a little bit of soft black just over it so it's got a bit of shade, just like so. So you've got a shadow underneath the nose now. Similarly just here, I'm going to select this area, so this little gap in between that chin circle we just done. So I want some black here, nothing too crazy. And just a little bit of it just come around the outside of the mouth, mainly around that curve just on the end, like so. Now you can see I've selected around the jawline. Oh, I've missed a bit here. How did I miss this? Right in front of me, Jesus. So selecting this bit of jawline. And nothing too crazy. Most of this is going to be done with colour. I just want a little bit of black just across that bottom line. Just like so. Just a tiny fraction of it. And then on this neck, literally just here, I'm going to bring in this like triangle shape. And just very softly, I don't want too much black. You're hitting like the next shadow just there. I'm just going to select this bit of hair now. Shade this in. Like so. 
So you can see it's building up quite nice now. I'm going to have a bit of black in the top part of this circle, but we are going to erase a bit of it. So if you didn't on paper, make sure you erase this section we're about to do. <laughs> so a circle and then two curves on each side, like so. Very simple way of making like a nice shine. And lastly, I think just a hint of black just in the corner of the upper lip, just there. Now the rest of it is going to be in colour, I think, and this is a section I've missed. So I'm going to go into colour now. I'm going to select that face. I'm going to start with this kind of flesh tone. So if you see my colour chart where it is, uh, my colour chart is also available on my uh, Instagram and Facebook. So if you go on there, you can copy all the colours, the exact ones I use. So I'm going to come in now. And I'm basically kind of going around certain edges, so you're going to see I'm going to bring this back nice and softly. I'm coming in, like, you know, around that gap. You see where we sort of drew that line? I'm basically kind of colouring in inside the gap and then just kind of fading as we get to the edge of it. See, so I'm just like ever so slightly overlapping and coming around it. You know, that area is sort of telling me where I want to put my shadows. I'm going to put a bit around here and I'm going to raise a little bit around here. So I don't want it in this area and just there. I'm going to bring it on the top part around here. A little bit on the top part of the forehead, just there. This section I know is just here. I want the shadow on this part. You can have a little bit around the nostril, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase a little line directly on the inside the nostril bit, so just around here. I want this little highlight part, so this little line just here. So you want to separate that shadow from the nose bit, just there, and that bit. Like so. And now we've got that tone. I'm going to come in now with a slightly darker tone. And kind of just got everything we've just done, just a little bit shorter, so. So I'll come off on that cheekbone section just there, a little bit more around the edge part, so I'm basically cutting in around the edges of it. A little bit just in this nose section just here. Nothing too crazy. Just let that flesh tone again, I'm going to put a little bit just around there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a softer tone now, just kind of like, generally over most of it, just like so, just a hint, just to soften it up. And now I'm going to select a red. And I want this red, kind of come in here, around this cheekbone, underneath the eye, just very soft, just bringing in this red tone. Not too much, just very gently bringing it over the top. See, just that. Now I'm going to get this, I'm going to make like a purplish kind of sort of very soft lilac colour now. That's too strong. There we go, that's about right. Just for that bit underneath the eye, I'm going to do the same thing underneath that nose part, just there. And a little hint of it just on the chin, so pretty much in the shadows. Just a very hint of it, maybe a little bit just on the bottom part of the neck. Yeah, I like that. Just softens up that sort of shade. Now inside the pupil, just on the shading, and put a little bit, a little bit of black, and just a razor touch. Quite like that. You can have a little bit more of black pupil in there. I'm not going to put a pupil in. I don't particularly want a pupil in it. You know, but it's all that's just personal preference. Just let me a dark red to begin with. Oh, wrong shade. Colour. A little bit dark red just on the top and bottom. 
Just let me have a raid. Just over the top like so. So you can see she's starting to build up quite nicely now. So now we've got that, I'm going to select some bold areas that I know want set colours. So now I want these bits here in yellow. I know I want the centre ones on this bit in yellow too. I don't want to select the outside bit there, there we go. Um, yeah, and I think I want these bond bits here, yellow. So pretty much everywhere you know you want to set colour. So now I'm going to do that, I'm going to select my yellow. And just bold that area in yellow. I'm going to select a light yellow. Just across the centre bits. Just to kind of line it up. And I'm going to come in with this sort of like caramel kind of tone. And just a little bit, just on the edge. Just to richen up that yellow. Yeah, I like that. I now want this area here to be red. Except for those bits we erased. So we just erase those little bits. Just there. Uh, just there, so we've got a highlight in it. And then this back part here, like I said, it's gonna create a new layer just above it because I want this bit to be yeah, gonna go dark blue, inking, studio pen. Just gonna select that area. So now I'm just gonna draw in some flowers. I'm gonna do some sort of like um Almost like sort of cherry blossom kind of style ones, I think. So you can do them any how you want to. So these are basically bring a line out, do three dips, come back to the shape, come back out, three dips, come back to the shape. Okay, have one there. Maybe have one here. Put a few little detail bits in there as well. Nothing too crazy, just a little line on the centre bit of those. So you kind of put it where it kind of would sit, like that's like the edge part, so We'll kind of sit there. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So now, yeah, I was going to go into the color section now. I'm going to select a light blue to begin with. And I'm going to go stronger and darker. Gradually around the edges. And what I'm going to do now is just select inside those flower bits we just drew up. So just cut around the whole edge of it, so just selecting the entire flower bits. And just decide which colour I want those to be a little bit different, so... I'll just click on the hue and saturation, I'm just going to flick through some colours, see what I like. I think I like the golden tone actually, yeah I'll go for that. I'm going to select those little areas.
in between those circles. I'm going to have this background bit just here in red. Slip my red. Yeah, I like that in red. And there's some red, maybe. Don't want this fit to be red. Yeah, I might have these bits in red, I think. Just generally a red bandana part. Yeah, I like that. And then if you just a few little pan bits just inside this. So for this one, I'm going to go for a light pink inking studio pen. So I'm just going to go for this kind of spiral pattern. Just kind of in that gap just there. Bit of cinnamon here, I'm just going to find some random spirals. Yeah, I quite like that. Just going to select the eye, I'm going to select these leaves. So the eye, I'm going to do an orange with a little White highlight. I think I might do these leaf uh, sort of like bits in yellow, a bit burnt red on the inside, like so. And select that sunburst in the background. And then just decide if I want that orange, if I want that yellow, or if I want that red. No, I like it in yellow. And now I'm just going to select grey tone. Just want a little hint of shadow just inside that eye bit, just a fraction. And then just on the outside bit, it's just a couple of grey bursts just around me around my corners. Like so. And lastly, Select those areas. I want that blue we used. Just set the blues in there as well. And voila. That is how you do it. That is how you draw a neo-traditional gypsy face. I'm going to put my little signature in there. No, I just can't draw a female face without doing it. You guys know what it is if you know my work. Very simple. Cross on the cheek. You can put tattoos on other little details. You can put like an earring and stuff, different kind of hairstyles. You can have more hair come around the background here if you wanted to. You know, it just depends on how far you want to kind of build it up. You know, that's a good sort of shape that can fit anywhere in the body. So yeah, I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my videos. I am The Rackin' Puppet and I shall see you all next time. Peace.